The Joint Legislative Audit and Review Committee evaluates state programs on behalf of the General Assembly. Last year, they were asked to review how well Virginia's programs that try to help poor Virginians become self-sufficient are working. Well, yesterday, JLARC released its findings, which show just 1% of households in Virginia who cannot afford their basic living expenses participate in the programs that are designed to help them become self-sufficient. Throughout the state of Virginia, 27% of households have trouble making ends meet without government assistance. To try to help lift those 865,000 households into self-sufficiency, Virginia has two primary programs, the Virginia Initiative for Education and Work, or VIEW, which requires most participants to work or get education or training in order to get their benefits, and SNAP Employment and Training, which offers a voluntary program. These programs can pay for or provide clients things like training, child care, and tuition, but staff with the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Committee found just 1% of Virginia households that need government assistance to get by even participate in the programs. And of those that do, just 2% of VIEW clients and 7% of SNAP ENT clients improved their wages enough that they became self-sufficient. JLARC staff found that the VIEW program's design and policies encourage clients to get low-paying, dead-end, and unstable jobs. State Senator Jeremy McPike, a Democrat, said it seems like a complete structural failure. It seems like we've set people up for failure. If you say you've got to meet 30 hours, yet the industry is only going to give you 29 hours for obvious reasons, for health care and other benefits. How do we deal with the employer side of this, either incentive or other structure? When you have an ins inconsistent schedule, you're not getting enough hours, you still need the money, you're never going give to up, give up the money, right? You still have to have money to pay the bills. JLARC staff also noted that high caseloads at local departments of social services hinder the ability to adequately assess clients and plan their services and activities. Now, if you would like to read the recommendations for improvement that JLARC staff made to legislators, visit this story on our website or the WTVR app. I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.